Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Do you lean on your inside edge a lot when you're skating, even when you're not trying to? Why does this happen? You might be pronating. This is a natural and common movement of your foot. It can occur during running, walking, and even skating. In other words, it's your ankle and arch rolling or tipping inwards slightly. Your foot should roll forward from heel to toe in a proper stride, keeping your pronation neutral. If your foot pronates, it's an attempt to create some shock absorption as your foot hits the ground after each step. If you over pronate, you may develop pain in your arch, heel, ankle, shin, knee, hip, and back. You may have just been born with feet that tend to pronate. This may be because your arch is too high, or it could be that your leg lengths aren't even. That's actually pretty common. Pronation can also result from injury, overuse, walking or standing on hard surfaces, like balancing on a blade on a hard ice surface. Way back in October, Greg at Polar Skate Shop asked me to try Jackson Supreme insoles. I think I might have mentioned it in my November Blade Box video. I'm pretty sure I did. Greg asked me to give these a try. Now, he did give these to me because he wants my opinion of them. They say it provides more power and stamina. Scientifically proven, provides a linear knee for more stability and more power. Proper alignment. He actually had to convince me to do this because I'm like, I don't need insoles. He's like, no, 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 try them. I was reluctant to try them. I haven't had great experience in the past with insoles. I've been told with techs in the past that I need arch support. I tried various different things. Dr. Scholl's arch supports under my stock insoles. I've also tried super feet. I've even tried custom super feet that my chiropractor shaped to my foot. Unfortunately, none of these solutions worked well for me. Then over the winter months, when I was spending three to five hours straight in my skates at one time, I ran into an issue with my arch on my left foot, falling from fatigue and overuse. That's when I tried out the Jackson Ultima Supreme insoles. These are the ones that Greg asked me to try. They're three degrees and they're not quite right, but I tried them anyway. I did notice a slight improvement, but I knew that I probably needed ones for narrower feet. I didn't have time to get over to Polar Skate Shop. Until I could get there, I kept trying different things. I was so desperate that at one point I even stacked three insoles on top of each other. That definitely didn't work. Don't do that. But once I got the Supreme insoles that were right for me, in my case, that's this one, the seven degree, I saw an immediate improvement. Since then, I've recommended them to pretty much all my skaters, especially my adult skaters. Those that have tried them love them as much as I do. Let's talk about why that is. Insoles are supposed to help with all kinds of things, but here's the thing about insoles. They're designed for walking or running, not skating. This is a pretty important distinction because your walking gait runs from the heel to the big toe. When you're skating, the alignment is best from your heel up to your second toe. Try it yourself, stand up, walk forward, you'll notice that you rock your foot from the outside heel to the big toe. So when you're walking, you go from heel outside to big toe inside. Jackson partnered with the University of Quebec. They came up with these supreme insoles. It doesn't have what you would expect with an arch. Instead, it has a reverse arch. Let me show you. This is the three. You see that? I think you probably can. It might work better if I put something up on screen. A reverse arch enables you to experience a skating motion rather than a walking motion. Instead of tilting your foot towards the outside, it provides a more linear knee for more stability, stamina, and power. Why would you need this? Many skaters, and just people in general, have some form of pronation. It's a term that refers to the way your foot and tibia roll inward at the ankle, causing the knee to turn in more than normal. Think of how many people you see leaning on their inside edge, what we sometimes call skating on your ankles. Or you can think of when you bend your knees and they come together, but your feet are still separated. Many people are born with pronation. You can also develop it over time. Pronation can lead to increased risk of injury, either through the pronation itself or your attempt to compensate for pronation. Injuries that frequently occur in people with pronation can include shin splints, bunions, heel pain, IT band syndrome, that's an inflammation of the ligament on the outside of the knee, chronic lower back pain, stress fractures in the foot or lower leg, Achilles tendonitis, runner's knee or jumper's knee. So it makes sense to use appropriate products to correct the issue. 
before there's an injury. And when that product is comfortable, it's more likely that you're gonna use it, right? That's the issue that I had with other products in the past. And they were just uncomfortable. I would rip them out of my skates. I didn't do that with these. Let's talk a bit about the science. Supreme insoles have undergone scientific testing at the University of Quebec in Montreal to examine the effect of an orthopedic insole on ankle stability in ice skating. In the past, minimal research had been conducted that evaluated the biomechanical effect of foot placement relative to blade alignment on the stability of the ankle. In a study, subjects performed on ice skating with and without the insoles. Those with wider feet used the three insole. Narrower used a seven degree insole. There's not one that's better than the other. It just depends on which one is right for you. The three degree is for wider feet that require less volume under the foot. The five degree is for regular feet that require standard volume. The ones that I'm using now are seven degrees. The seven degree is for narrower feet like mine that require more volume underfoot. Pressure sensor instruments providing readings of each skater's center of pressure. The center of pressure and the location of the blade were then compared to optimum stability. They discovered that the use of the insoles allows the skater's center of pressure to be closer to the blade of the skate providing higher ankle stability, since the motion of skating is drastically different than walking. The optimization of the skating boot should be specific to the unique center of pressure. Since the risk of injury is often related to posture and stability, Supreme insoles may significantly reduce the risk. I love these insoles and I wear them every day now when I coach in my Adea Concerto boots. I'm suggesting them to others too because there are many skaters with pronation. Skating is unique with jumps, spins, turns, and edge work requiring proper alignment. The Supreme insole is a really great solution for many skaters. Additionally, there are some exercises that you can try. As a certified personal trainer and strength and conditioning specialist, I suggest that all my skaters add strengthening exercises that can help support the arches of your feet. Here are some exercises that may help you. Heel stretches. Stand with both feet flat on the floor. Then step forward with one foot. Place one foot in front of the other. Keeping your spine straight, bend your front leg and push forward so that all your weight is on your front foot. You will feel a stretch in your back leg and your Achilles. Hold for 30 seconds. Change feet and repeat four times. Tennis ball rolls. Sit with both feet flat on the floor. Place a tennis or golf ball under one of your feet. Keeping your back straight, roll the ball back and forth under the foot for two to three minutes. Switch and repeat with the other foot. Calf raises. Stand with both your feet on the ground, lift both heels as high as you can, and hold it there for five seconds. Then lower them. Repeat this 15 to 20 times. Alternatively, you can use a stair or an exercise step and allow your heels to rise and below the step level. Toe raises. Stand with both your feet on the floor. Press your big toe into the floor and lift the other toes. Hold for five seconds. Next, press the four smaller toes into the floor and raise the big toe for five seconds. Repeat each exercise five to 10 times. What do you think? Have you experienced pronation? Have you tried insoles and exercises? What has your experience been? If you haven't tried anything before, will you now give Jackson Supreme insoles a try? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with someone else that you think it could help just post it on your social media too. I post videos every week that can help you with your figure skating, your fitness, your nutrition, and ultimately live your best life. So please consider subscribing and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. This is Amy. Thank you for watching. I will see you real soon. Bye.